Hi guys, so I've been seeing a lot of people ask how to flip match because at the start most people do think it's a little confusing but it's actually really simple once you know the steps to follow. So I'm not like some amazing flipper or anything like that, I'm just an amateur still but what I do does work for me. Um, there's a bunch of different items you can flip but the most common things being like raw materials, so coal and other ores, also things like pots, like prayer pots and super strengths, things like that. Generally you want to flip items that people do buy a lot, but they don't need, so it's not a necessity, it's optional items. So things like cannonballs and things that make training a little bit easier. Uh, there's a chart that I am going to link in the description that another YouTuber made called Misc Maniac. His, or his um, channel will be linked in the description as well. And he did help me with flipping. Just made a really helpful spreadsheet for all of his subs to use, so I guess I'll just give him credit for it. So what I'm going to be showing you is generally what I do, I don't flip all day long, I just usually flip every few hours and I only flip a couple of items, so specific items, uh, the main item being cannonballs, I usually flip my daily, I think it's 7,000 cannonballs you're allowed to buy per day, and I flip my 7,000 daily cannonballs every day, so what you want to do is um, obviously go into the G and type in an item like cannonballs. And the first item you buy, you need to pay like a really high price for it. And then sell it for a really low price. So like this. Then I go into the history tab and you see it sold for 239 and bought for 243. So what you want to try and do is buy for 239. So the sell the price you sold for you want to buy for. And the price you bought for you want to sell for sell at. So um, you just type in 239, so that's what price I want to be buying for, and 243 is the price I want to be selling. Cannibals are really good to flip because people, a lot of people use them, but they don't necessarily need them. So when they do buy them, they don't mind paying a little bit you know, overpriced for them. Because it's generally the richer players who use cannibals to train with. It's usually for Slayer. So I'll buy, I actually can't buy 7k at the moment because I just just used like all my money buying some stuff for skills. So I'll buy 5,000 cannibals. So 239 because that's the price we put it as and confirm. And then you just wait. It usually takes around 5 minutes. So I usually just flip a few other items whilst I'm waiting. Another good item is coal. This is another item I flip. But they're not always good to flip thing is you just it's kind of luck like once like sometimes cannibals you only make a few gp per cannibal other times you make about 20 gp per see for instance here i wouldn't be making a whole lot i'd only be making a few gp per so unless you buy a lot of coal you're not really going to be making much money uh, generally the rule is do not buy things too expensive unless you have like mills and hundreds of mills so for instance I tried flipping things like obby capes and sure you do make like sometimes you can make like 25 30k per flip but the flips do take about an hour sometimes and like if you bought say your 5,000 7,000 cannibals you, you can make more than that within 10 minutes so you generally you want to get cheaper items and buy lots of them rather than one big expensive item because it just doesn't really work that way so another good flip at the moment is you, as you can see prayer pots but like I said these are quite expensive but if you have a lot of money uh, it's good so for instance if you spend I think I'm not sure if there's a limit on the amount you can buy per day um, it'll be in the chart that I link in the description so you can just look but if you buy the cap or thousands and thousands of them you will make a lot of money so, for, so at the moment it's just over 100 GP per flip so if I try and just, I'll only buy a few because I don't have much money. That's uh, so a seven, seven, three, four, seven, eight, four, nine. So same again. You just want to do this whenever you want to flip an item. You just follow that rule. All right. So seven, seven, three, four, and let's just buy five because I don't have a lot of money, and I'm going to be flipping some other items as well. I did have a lot of money before, but I had to buy loads of items. So it's kind of luck with the um, timing as well, because at the moment it's Tuesday, uh, 1 p.m., so there's not a whole lot of people on the game. The best time to do it is in the evening. I find around 6 o'clock English time, 6 p.m. That's a good time. 
and then get your timing right. And you want to flip when there's a lot of players on. That's the general rule. Also, another thing you have to watch out for is sometimes the price. If you if your item isn't buying and you've been left it for a while, check the prices again because the prices could have changed. See, I bought what player bought there. So you just have to check the prices because they do change because a lot of people do flip, especially with cannonballs. Prices change a lot. So before it was two three nine. See now it's two forty. So someone up with one GP more. So you have to completely change all of your stuff. So let me just change this again. 240 5k so you have to watch out for that as well so if you if your item isn't buying or selling just make sure you check the prices again so my cannibals just bought so here for 5000 um so 15k profit just for pretty much afk but there sometimes it is really good like a few days ago i made 20 gp per cannonball so i made 120k ish just from that flip so it's just luck really um i usually come back every four hours which is the item limit when the um they get reset so every four hours and um yeah i just come back with my cannonballs and that's the main item i do flip because i know it always works and or oh, it's always really good it's it's never ever been bad um, things like prayer potions and all that you have to wait a little bit longer for them to buy and um, but there you can look at all the good items on the graph that I'm going to link in the description as you can see here's the graph um, these different rankings so the ones are green are the items that always work with the consistent profit the items that sometimes work are the yellow ones these do usually work all the time as well but sometimes the price margin is a little bit it fluctuates quite a lot so um it's not always good but they usually do work as well uh the purple ones like are the more expensive items like i was talking about before uh, if you have a lot of money then you can buy them but they don't always work so for instance they take because they take so long to buy by the time you've bought them the price margin could have completely changed and you, you might not even be in profit anymore that's happened to me i've i spent a few hours buying some items and then by the time i bought the price margin had completely changed and i'd lost the money so you kind of only want to go for them if you have a lot of money and you don't mind the risk and then items that he recommends will be highlighted in in you know this color as well but there isn't any of these that color on here it's also all of the item names and their limits so ores are 12,000 as I, I didn't think they had a limit on them before but as I said it was in the spreadsheet uh, all like nature runes, mine runes, all metal bars, all 5k the cannibals are 7k so yeah this is a really good graph this is the guy who made the graph I'll link his channel and the, this graph in the description uh, I did not make this it's all his as you can see my cannibals are selling quite quickly they usually sell faster than they buy and uh yeah so good luck making money um it's very easy this is not aimed for the people who want to be flipping items you know constantly because uh, i know some people spend hours and hours straight flipping i just flip every few hours like i go train then come back flip a bit then go back then train and usually i flip before i need to buy something for instance when i buy some rooms for um when I buy some runes for training magic, I always flip a bit beforehand so I can, you know, make a bit of profit and then spend that profit on the runes. And there you go, all the cannibals just sold. So I just made, it wasn't too much, it was 15k, yeah, 15k. But as I said, it does fluctuate and I can go ahead and buy another 2k cannibals as well uh, because I haven't bought my limit yet. So let me check the margin again. It's probably changed again already. I mean, the cannibals change very quickly. See, it's already changed again. So, I mean, that I probably won't even bother doing that because that's like 4k profit, literally. So, you just, it's mainly luck and a bit of patience. That's the key. Patience is key. So, you don't want to buy your items and then, you know, be like, oh, they're not selling. It's been like 10 minutes. They still haven't sold. I'd say I usually wait for a maximum of about half an hour and then stop 
because the prices change so quickly, especially with the cheaper items. If you're going for a more expensive item, they take hours and you can wait the hours uh, for things like god swords or uh, rare drops. So things like Star of the Dead and Toxic Blowpipes, things like that. They're usually not that good to flip. But as I said before, if you have like some people spend a hundred mil on loads of these items and they make a ridiculous amount of profit but it is risk as well because they could lose a lot of money from them as well so i highly recommend just to stick with the cheaper items and the items that lots of people use and yeah so thank you very much for watching my guide if you'd like to see more in the future subscribe i will be uploading some progress videos and so other videos as well uh i'm probably gonna end my progress videos road to god wars because i really want to start doing god wars dungeon but as you can see my stats are lacking i really need to get my range up that's what i'm doing now as you can see i'm in my range gear but yeah thank you very much for watching this guide if you found it helpful make sure you like and if you want to see more of my content then subscribe thank you very much Return the box and get the money back.